Vulcanizing fluid is essential to text tire repair materials adhering to the tire, but how does it work? Most of our repairs use a cold chemical vulcanizing process. I'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of scientific terms, but generally speaking, when the cushion gum on our repair stems and caps comes in contact with a special formulation of chemicals in tech vulcanizing fluid, a reaction takes place that permanently bonds the natural rubber repair unit to the rubber of the tire. This creates an air and moisture proof barrier. Cheap stems, plugs, and patches often come with glue or rubber cement. Do not be fooled. This is a simple adhesive and is not bonding the repair unit to the tire. Over time, road salt, chemicals, and other contaminants will likely break down that adhesive and cause that repair unit to fail. When using tech vulcanizing fluid, there are a few steps you need to take to ensure a proper repair with maximum adhesion. When applying Tech 760 vulcanizing fluid, work it into the cleaned and prepared surface with a convenient cap-mounted brush using a circular motion. This ensures the solution is applied in an even coat and that the area is completely cemented. Or when using an insert style repair, apply a generous coating of Tech 770 Flow Seal vulcanizing fluid using the convenient flip cap. It is important to allow some drying time. These vulcanizing fluids contain solvents that need a little time to evaporate, otherwise those gases can get trapped under the repair unit, which could lead to repair unit failure. Therefore, it's important to never install a repair unit over wet vulcanizing fluid. For Tech 760, the recommended dry time is three to five minutes. For our less common specialty vulcanizing fluids and cements, the dry times are as follows. Heavy duty blue vulcanizing fluid is five to seven minutes, while Tembulk has an eight to 10 minute dry time. Additional dry times may be required in cold or humid conditions. Never use a fan or your air hose to try to speed up drying times. Doing so could blow buffing debris and other contaminants into the vulcanizing fluid, which could also lead to repair failure. Once you've allowed the proper drying time, install the repair unit and continue on with Tech's repair process. We hope you've enjoyed this brief tutorial. For more in-depth courses, tips, and seminars, we encourage you to sign up for Tech University Online. For an annual fee of just $50, you and your whole shop can learn proper tire repair techniques. Visit techtirerepairs.com and click on the training tab to get started.